Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to do an initial review on Kraft Holsters, uh, light bearing holster for the Glock 17 uh, with the uh, Streamlight TLR1, okay? Uh, I'm gonna take it out later on to show it to you guys. Um, what, I add, what I did is I asked uh, uh, Kraft Holsters to send me the uh, a holster for the, for the Glock 17 TLR1 because the Glock 17 uh, is one of the uh, most popular guns out there um, and the Streamlight TLR1 is one of the most popular lights out there. Uh, now, there's a lot of choices out there as far as holsters uh, for, for, you know, for your gun when you don't have a light on it. But when it comes down to holsters um, for, you know, that, that are meant to carry a light, there's a limited number of options. So there's a lot less of them, okay? So that's the reason why I specifically asked for this one. Now, um, I am sort of holding this holster to a higher standard um, because realistically, if you're going to be carrying a Glock 17, right, which is a full-size gun with a, a, a Streamlight TLR1, with a, you know, with a light on it, um, you, you're, you know, now you're, you're carrying it because you really intend to do some serious shooting, okay? So uh, you're either in a combat situation or you expect to be in a combat situation or you're going to a training class, okay? Uh, hopefully, it's just because you guys are going to a training class. So if you're going to be going to a training class, right, uh, you're going to be, you know, it's your, training classes are usually two days or three days, you know, or sometimes they can be longer. And you're going to be expected to do a lot of shooting, and you're going to be shooting from a lot of unconventional positions. You know, you'll be laying down on, on your side on top of your holster. So the holster has to be pretty tough, okay? So uh, one of the things I really like about this uh, this um, uh, holster, right, this light bearing holster from, from Kraft Holsters, first of all, it retains the gun pretty good. It goes in and out, and it has retention, okay? If I push up on the gun like this, it has sufficient retention without having to use like a level two, you know, uh, retention um, device, right? You don't have to push buns or anything. Uh, and that's really important for me. I, you know, I like holsters that are simple. Once you start adding buttons and stuff like that to holsters, uh, it, 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 it can make the, the holster more complicated. It makes it bigger. Um, it, you know, more things that can break. So I like the holster as simple as possible. Um, especially for a combat type of situation. The other thing I like about this holster is that it's pretty flat, right? It doesn't stick out a lot. So if you're going through doorways and stuff, you're not going to be, you know, you're not going to be banging the holster on the doorway. Um, I've I've driven with this holster on, right? Um, now, obviously, if I'm I'm sitting in my truck, I got a Glock 17 with a light on. You know, it's a big gun. You know, the holster has to be big enough to accommodate the gun. So when you're sitting down driving, yeah, you're going to feel this, right? You're going to know you got a gun over here. You're going to, you know, you're going to feel this pushing into your body a little bit. Um, but I, I feel that the holster is minimalist. It is as small as it can possibly be to accomplish the job, okay? So that's what I like. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a simple holster uh, that doesn't have any extra bells or whistles, less things that can break, um, and it certainly does the job of holding the gun, it protects the trigger guard, right? I can come out, okay, go back in, okay? Um, so it does that all pretty good. So uh, that's the first thing, right? It's gotta do those things. If it can't do those things, then, you know, we're kind of stuck, right? We can't really go much further. So so it does those, si those simple things. Um, now, uh, before I go any further, what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys my draw stroke because obviously I'm outdoors. This is a very realistic type of situation, right? We're not in an indoor gun range here, right? We're outdoors. This is the type of scenario that you might be in if you're doing like a two-day training class um, where you need to have, you know, a combat gun with, a, with, with you know, with a light on it, okay? Um, in a holster that can handle these type of conditions. So my draw stroke, when I have insulated gloves on, right? When I pull my gun out, okay, pull the gun out, I bring it in front of me, Okay. Because I have gloves, what I do is I put my finger in the, in the trigger guard in this low ready position. Okay, So the gun's pointed in a safe direction. I keep the gun here, and then from the, if i got to address somebody, I address them from this position. You, stop, stop, stop. Okay, If the gun comes up, it's, ready, it's, it's to shoot. Okay, All right. So that's my draw stroke when I have, you know, in the wintertime, when I have gloves on. Okay, um, you know, I, I take the glove out, the gun out rather. I put my finger in the guard. If I need to look at it for a second, I look at it, right? 
I, I keep the gun pointed in a safe direction through all this because there's a good chance when you put an insulated glove into your trigger guard, right, the gun may fire. So you got to keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. So if I need to address somebody, I address them from this position here. Stop, stop, get back, get back. And then I can come up and fire from that position if I need to, okay? And then I take my finger out of the guard, okay, when I need to reholster, okay? So, um, so before I do some drills really quickly, let me show you guys. It came in a box. It says Kraft Holsters. Uh, interesting thing is uh, the it's sold by Kraft Holsters. The bag that it came in uh, says Falco, okay? So I think Falco is the manufacturer and Kraft Holsters is the... Um, you know, is, is the seller, okay? So I'm not exactly sure what the relationship is between these two companies, but, but the bag itself is gonna say um, Falco. It is a sealed bag, uh, which is good because, because the bag is sealed, I know that this wasn't like cherry picked for me. They just picked this out of a lot, threw it into this box, and they, and they shipped it to me. Um, uh, I didn't pay for this, right? Well, but the, the holster normally costs, I think it's $110, right? So it's $110. Um, which, which, here's the thing, when it comes to light-bearing holsters, uh, you, have, you have less options out there, right? Um, and so that's why, like, I, I've looked at a couple of other holsters. Like, I, I just reviewed another holster about a week ago that was about, I don't know, I think it was about $40, and it was terrible. I mean, I just couldn't get the gun in the holster, right? So it didn't fit the gun right. There's, and so there's a limited number of choices out there. So uh, that's why I really wanted uh, Kraft holsters to send me. Um, a light bearing holster because because I wanted you guys to be aware that hey you know you know if, if this turned out to be a good holster I wanted you guys to be aware of it okay um, because like I said there's a limited number of options out there so let's go through a couple of drills so again using that technique I just told you guys I'm gonna pull the gun out all right I'm gonna keep the gun pointing the ground get my finger into the guard right come out sights on target finger off the trigger Gun goes back in the holster, okay? So now let's get to the, some of the realistic stuff that you guys would most likely be doing if you went to, um, you know, to a two-day class or something, right? So you're going to be on the ground. Get on the ground, right? Right? Get to the gun. Finger in the guard. Come out. Back around. Okay, so uh, I've been doing this for all week. This holster holds up to you rolling around on it, okay? Um, and as you, did, as you guys saw, I was rolling on it with the gun in the holster, with the gun, uh, with the gun not in the holster. I, mean, I don't know why I took my, oh, I know why. I'm like, why did I take my gloves off? I took my gloves off so I can take my belt off. Hold on, let me just get the gun out. get the holster off take a, a look at it and what I did with this holster is when I put it in uh, I put one of the belt loops all right so the way I do is I pass a loop through here okay I run it I, uh, I run it under the, the belt loop that's on my on my pants and then I come up on the other side let me tighten my pants up and then we'll take a closer look at the holster itself Okay, so here's the holster. Uh, one of the things that I like, where is it? Did I get it right? Yeah, that's the way it said. Okay, so one of the things that I like is that this cover over here comes up high enough to cover the rear sights, okay? Because if it doesn't cover the rear sights, those rear sights are going to pinch you um, when you're, definitely when you sit in the car, 
or even if you're rolling around on it on the ground, those rear sights are going to pinch you. So I really like the fact that the that this cover comes all the way up here to cover those rear sights. Okay. Um, so as you guys can see, it's a pretty simple design. Um, they've got, you know, there's basically two pieces of plastic that fit together. You can see that it says Falco over there. Now the the holster itself does not say Glock 17 um, TLR1 on it. If I was to give some advice to the company. You gotta print. You gotta print that on the holster because it's really easy for this thing to get mixed up at the factory. Uh, same thing. Same thing with the bag that this thing came in, right? It says Falco. It does not say Glock 17 TLR1. So this is gonna get mixed up by the shipping department. So this has to be has to have a label on it, either whether, whether it's a printed label or whatever, printed label, whatever. It, it's gotta get labeled. Because otherwise it's gonna get mixed up and then people are gonna get pissed off. Okay, let's close this thing up. Okay, so um, as you can see, it's basically two halves that are put together, and there's uh, three rivets on each side that hold this in place. Okay, you can see the rivets, and then basically two of the uh, two of the rivet holes over here are threaded, and then that's how they attach these belt loops. Okay, now let me take the gun out. This is the place where I show a problem now, okay? Okay, I tighten this up, all right? You see these loops over here? Okay, this, this side did not come loose, okay? And I did tighten this up before I did this video because the last time I went through this exercise, that also got loose. So the way these belt holders are in place is, is basically, the, uh, you, know, this, this, you know, you have a, a very thin nut on this side, a, a very thin screw, and these things just kind of screw together. That needs Loctite, okay? That needs to be Loctited from the factory. Um, now, I obviously, I'm gonna Loctite this, but I didn't wanna Loctite this before I did the video um, because I kinda knew that I was gonna go through this exercise and this was gonna most likely come loose because I've seen it come loose before, right? It didn't come loose on this side, it came loose on that side, okay? Uh, this is not a major issue, it's an easy fix. You just gotta lock tight the screws. Uh, this should be done at the factory, um, but this is one of the things that you guys should in, should inspect when you get this holster. First thing you do is you make sure it fits the gun. Um, next thing you do is make sure that you know you, these things are are lock tighted. You know, you take a screwdriver, you just give it a twist over there, make sure it doesn't move, uh, because if if these screws come out, then this thing is not gonna stay where it's supposed to stay, and you're gonna have problems. And if you're you know, if you, if you went to a two-day training course and these screws fall out, you know, now you don't have a holster, you know, so that you're going to be in a really bad position, okay? So this is an easy fix, but this must be addressed. This should be addressed at the factory. Uh, and if you buy this holster, you got to check that. If you need to put Loctite on that, put Loctite on that and test this out. That's important. Other than that, I like this holster. Um, it's thin. It's minimalist, right? doesn't have more things on it than it needs to have on it. Um, you know, it's, it's tight. It's close to the body. It does the job. Let, let me get the gun back. If I uh, take the light off the gun, right? We take the light off the gun. Okay. If you take the light off the gun, okay. I mean, it, it, it's not meant to be carried like this, right? But it, I mean, to me, that's not horrible in the sense that if I need to, you know, if for, for example, if I didn't have another light. And I needed to use this light so I can, see, let's say my, my, the, the light that I normally carry in my pocket, let's say that stopped working. I'm like, okay, great. Now this is the only other light I got. I got to use this light. So I'm able to take this light off, okay, put the gun back in the holster, and I can walk around. Obviously, I can't be rolling around. I can't be jumping around because that's, you know, that's sitting there loose, okay? So that's definitely going to come out. But the point I'm bringing out is that it, it will sit there. Because with some other holster designs that I've seen is once you put it in there, the gun almost like automatically flops out, okay? So this will sit in there so you can just do like normal walking, okay? Of course, you got to be conscious that the gun, you know, like if I was going to walk around, I'd probably walk around with my, my palm on the gun, you know, while I was using this light. But this holster, put this back down. I still got around that chamber, so I'm being careful. Um, so this, this holster is designed to be used with a light on the gun. You can't. You can't use that gun and this holster without having the light on it, uh, except for like a short temporary, you know, use. Okay. So, um, let's put this down. So yeah, I like it. Um, it does the job. I will probably review this again in the future. 
Uh, like I said, I've only had this for about a week, week and a half, something like that. I've done a good deal of shooting. I've done some driving around with this. Um, it works excellent, except for the fact that that these nuts here need to be locked, tighted down. That's the only that's the only uh, major thing that needs to be done, and it's an easy thing to correct. Um, beyond that, if I was to make some advice to the company, uh, it'd be nice, like in the next design in the future, if there was a way to adjust the tension. Even though I don't think this one needs it. Uh, you know, you know, you know, but that that might be something for the next generation. But again, I like I like the minimalist minimalist design. It works. It holds everything in place. Um, so it, it's a good holster. I like that it covers the uh, rear sight, so that the rear sight does not pinch you. So good stuff. And, oh, and the other thing is, they should they, this should be printed someplace on the holster. But it's for a Glock 17 TLR1. So there's no mix up at the factory or in your you know for yourself, right? If you got like you know, let's say like somebody like me, I got a lot of guns, I got a lot of holsters. Okay, this is just gonna get thrown into a box full of holsters that all kind of look the same. So when I pick it up, how am I gonna know that this is for the Glock 17 TLR1, you know? So I'm gonna have to put like a little label here. So that's, but other than that, yeah, I really like this. I will be reviewing this again in the future after I've had maybe another six months of use on this, but so far, good to go. Just lock tight the nuts on it. Put this down. So, uh, so if you guys uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. I'll put some links below to uh, craft holsters uh, in case you want to go buy this holster, check it out. Uh, like I said, it's $110, which I think is pretty reasonable. It's not cheap, right? I've seen other stuff. Like I had ordered another holster from um, on Amazon that was light bearing for the uh, for the Glock 17. It was like $40, but it did not fit the gun, right? It did. It just didn't fit the gun. Um, I couldn't get it into the holster. I, I set that back. Okay, so there's not that many options out there uh, at $110. I think my, my personal opinion is that this is a very reasonable price for this holster. So uh, if you guys have any comments, put in the comment section. If you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.